Hello and welcome. This is Today in the News. Here are the highlights. AFCC secures conviction of two car dealers in Sakoto. Jamba now sees 140 as cut off mark for university admission. Gavna Kiridulu marks 66th birthday with special only comedian service. National Security Council recommends restriction in use and distribution of motorcycles. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission has secured the conviction of two persons arraigned on one count charge each for the contravention of provisions of the Money Laundering Prohibition Act 2011. Convicted persons were arraigned alongside other persons mm -hmm. for failing to submit declarations of activities in line with extant regulations on customer identification and rendition of returns on transactions to the Special Control Unit against money laundering. Delivering judgment, Justice Ahmed Mahmoud of the Federal High Court Sakoto convicted and sentenced Aminu Sahabi to five years imprisonment or paid the fine of 125,000 naira after pleading guilty to the charge. Justice Mahmoud also convicted and fined Nasr Mohammed the sum of 125,000 naira. The judge, however, discharged and acquitted Sanusi Bello on the ground that the prosecution counsel failed to prove his case beyond reasonable doubt. The Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board, JAMB, and heads of tertiary education institutions in the country have pegged the minimum cut-off mark for admissions in the 2022-2023 academic session. The minimum cut-off marks for universities was pegged at 140, polytechnics 100, and colleges of education at 100. This was mid-known at the policy meeting on admission presided by the Minister of Education, Adamo Adamo, in Abuja. JAM Registrar Professor Ishak Oluyede, who announced the cut-off marks, said the implication is that every institution now has the right to fix its own cut-off mark, even up to 220, but no one would be allowed to go less than the agreed minimum marks of 100 for colleges of education, 100 for polytechnics, and 140 for universities. Ondo State Governor Uluwaru Timia Kiridolu has marked the 66th birthday with a special Holy Communion service held at the Chapel of the Epiphany within his residence at the GRA Ijabuowo. The wife of the governor, Chief Betty Ayawa Kiridolu, who also celebrated her birthday on Wednesday, attended the Holy Communion service as well as other members of the Akiridolu family. Members of the House of Assembly, Commissioners, Heads of Security Agencies, Council Chairman, political associates and others were also in attendance. And the National Security Council has recommended the restriction on the use and distribution of motorcycles across the country as a way of curbing the frightening trend of banditry and kidnapping. The resolution was reached at the end of the National Security Council meeting convened at the instance of President Buhari at the presidential villa. The illegal use of these motorcycles now aid and abet banditry, kidnapping and terrorism. The Security Council meeting convened by President Buhari is to essentially checkmate the spiraling threat to national security. The Minister of Interior disclosed that a preliminary report of the attack on the Kuje Correctional Facility is on the President's desk. He says despite sufficient intelligence about the attack, there was a problem with the will to act.